Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in previous video tutorial, we have seen how to uh, set, I mean, uh, logging level uh, for the uh, application root level, right? We have also seen if you want to set the logging level for a specific modules, right? Like uh, a spring do a spring framework dot wave spring framework dot eop and many more models spring and we see uh, as well so you can set uh, uh, logging level for the specific spring model as well if you want to set logging levels for the your application level right application package level then you can set uh, logging level as well so my package is com dot info dot app so prefix would be fixed logging dot level and you will have to specify your package name and then whatever logging level you want to assign that you can assign over here now we had also seen how to uh, uh, logging pattern for a console we can specify in application dot properties so this is the pattern uh, to print a logging message on the uh, console eclipse console or whatever id you are using uh, on that console again we have seen how to uh, logging pattern uh, we can specify the for the file system right if you want uh, if you, we want to uh, set logging output to a file then even you can specify the pattern so this is the pattern for the uh, logging output for a file and we have seen how we can specify the uh, uh, file path so here logging dot path we can specify logs means uh, here I have given the directory name logs so what happened when our application is started running then logs uh, directory will be created in our project and there a spring creates a file is called a spring dot log and all logging uh, information is getting uh, into this log file right so here you we do not have any control on naming for this log file if you want to specify your own file name so let me run this uh, folder and uh, folder and uh, let's run it again and see again a spring is going to create a uh, fold, folder is called logs and inside that you'll get the a spring log file so let, uh, let's run this application so i have started this application and in my pom.xml what i have done I have included uh, dependency for the dev tools so if I do any modification in this application then server will be restarted again so I don't need to restart the server again again that's that's why I have added uh, dev tools in the dependency pom.xml right pom.xml dependency so if I refresh this application then you'll see logs file gets created over here and inside the logs we have a log spring.log file and here all logging information you can see over here and logging pattern uh, is getting printed what we have specified over here right for the uh, uh, logging pattern for file again if you want to specify here you don't have any control on the file naming convention right so always a spring is going to create a spring.log so if you want to specify your own file then there is another we have another so let's comment it uh, uh, we have another uh, tag another property is called logging dot file and here you can specify your own file so this location you can specify any hardest location but that is not recommended at all so you will have any uh, uh, location somewhere in the network that location you can specify or you can specify the relative path of your project itself so what i'll do uh, I'm going to specify the path uh, my app logs something so this could be the your uh, directory name folder name and inside that I want a uh, logging file to be created as uh, what I say my app dot log so what happened when I run this application so see so once I save this file then application has again restarted again right i did not start application explicitly because if you look into the pom.xml i have 
included dev tools right so once you include this dependency in your pom.xml and if you make any change in your source code in your project then server will be restarted automatically right so now if you refresh it now then you can see my app logs folder has been created in your project and there you can see my app dot log is getting created and that's what we have given the file name this is the directory which is automatically gets created because we have a specified and uh, here inside that we have a my app dot log and here you can see all logging information has been logged and this is following the pattern which we have specified over here so that's all i have in this video so uh, in this video you have learned how to uh, logged i mean logging information into somewhere in the uh, log file right so uh, this information will reach to the 10 mb then this will be uh, uh, this this will be rolling back so that's again will that will create a new file so in next video tutorial we'll see how we can customize i mean a spring uh, logging uh, information using logback.xml file so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description see you next video tutorial